How to build your own airplane. As is true with most things in life, there are different levels of proficiency with any specific category. Just because a guy can build a picnic table doesn't mean he could make a watch. There are many factors that come into play. Precision, patience, sobriety, etc. And the qualifications get even more stringent when building something that could, if built improperly, lead to personal injury and death. It's also true when doing certain types of repairs, like replacing key components on a car or a nuclear device. So when a handyman evolves to the point where he decides to build and then fly his own airplane, he must be prepared to max out his skill level and working tolerances. If any of you are thinking of doing something along that line, here are a few simple tips that can help you decide whether or not you should try to fly in something you built in your garage. Number one, don't. Number two, check your tools. You can't cut and drill to five one thousandths of an inch with a handheld cordless drill and a hacksaw. Similarly, duct tape is a repair device, not a construction tool. Check your eyesight. The fit may look good enough to you, but if you have to squint to read a billboard, there's a 50-50 chance that you've put the wing on upside down. 4. Use the right materials. If the instructions call for aluminum, that's what you need to get. Don't use steel plate or plywood just to save a few bucks. 5. Use all the parts. If they say the tail needs to be attached using all 10 bolts, do it. It may seem like overkill to you right now, but you don't want it to cross your mind at 5,000 feet. Chances are you'll have other things to think about. 6. Be fussy about the engine. It's very important that the engine either runs perfectly or not at all. 7. When you get about a third of the way into the project, take a break and rethink the whole thing. Drop an egg onto a concrete floor and try to imagine what that must feel like. 8. Move the beer fridge so it's at least 500 yards from the construction zone. 9. Make sure all wing, flap, and rudder cables are tight. All work and no play makes a safer airplane. 10. Do regular visual inspections. Stand back and look at the overall project every few days. If it doesn't look like an airplane, it isn't. 11. Don't skimp on the tires. Get the largest, softest ones available. A plane crash is a disaster. A plane bounce is usually quite amusing. 12. When the airplane is complete and ready for its first flight, hire a test pilot. If he inspects the plane and turns down the job, don't second guess him. If he inspects the plane and accepts the job, rescind the offer and go yourself. No point in wasting money. And number 13. Before taking off on your maiden voyage, make sure your life insurance is paid up, say goodbye to everyone, and drop photo ID into your underwear so they can identify the body. Red Green's new book, How to Do Everything, available now at bookstores everywhere and at redgreenshop.com.